All right, well, how many eggs do you have in your basket? We're not talking about your Easter basket, but your financial basket. Travis Freeman with Four Seasons Financial Education is here this morning. He's going to crack the case to your financial goals. Good morning to you. Good morning, Margie. Yeah, and you have your little uh, basket there with a few eggs in them. That's right. Luckily, I could steal this from my kids this morning. This <laughs> worked out go. well. I'm assuming most of us are not in excellent condition when it comes to our finances, Travis. Yeah, you're correct yeah. about that, unfortunately. And only only 78% of people are, excuse me, 78% of people are not prepared for mm -hmm. retirement. And often it's because they put too much in their basket. And I'm sure you've heard the phrase, uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. Well, I'm here to say don't put too many eggs in the basket. Mm -hmm. Here's what often happens. All right, let's say this represents your financial life. Okay. There's only so much space in here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's what a lot of us do. Here's the house. We put the house mm -hmm. in there. It takes up quite a bit of space. Okay. Now maybe we have a car that we put in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe a second car that we put in there. You want to save for someone's college education. You got it there. Now we need to save for the 401 for retirement. Ruh row. There's no space left, <laughs> right. right? And uh -huh. that's what happens to so many people. They put too much in the basket, and it's often because of that house. Mm -hmm. You're also saying chances are the Easter Bunny is not going to deliver a solid gold egg. That's right. It's probably not going to happen, right? Not gonna We're happen. not going to win the lottery. Those things likely are not going to happen. No. If you're if you're betting on the inheritance or the uh, the lottery ticket, you know the, there's a big risk there. There's a big mm -hmm. risk that will never happen. So I always tell people try not to spend more than 20% of your gross income on that house or apartment. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes that may be tough, but the reason I say that is then you have 80% of your income to use for your other goals. You can put away 10 to 20% to the right. 401k when you don't spend too much on the house. The other thing you're not bending on is if you've been carrying a balance on a credit card for two years, you're like, you're done. And I mean, you're done. You find a way to pay this off. Absolutely. You're done. I, yeah. I, I call it, I'm revoking your privileges. Yeah. You, you cut them up. You are done. You have not proven that you can manage them appropriately mm -hmm. and you need to quit it in the same way that someone that might be in trouble in other ways have to quit those bad habits cut the cards up you're done well and not only that you're saying it, it may take extreme measures to pay them off and people are doing it I have actually seen people in their 50s mm -hmm. sell their homes move in with their family members pay off their debts and then get back to their life and it's a lot better than struggling for 10 years paying those credit cards off yeah it absolutely is anything else that we should keep in mind when it comes to our financial goals and meeting those Travis again I can't stress enough Margie this is home buying season yeah when you're going to look for that house, the bank will approve you for this much. Mm -hmm. Trust me, they will. But you need to keep that in check. Otherwise, you're putting too much in the basket and you won't be able to do the things you want to do. And, and that loan's going to be around for quite some time. Yes, yeah. it will. Yes, it will. And that's what we need is time on our side to save for our goals. And if you're struggling to pay that mortgage off, you lost that on time. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Travis Freeman, thank you so much for your Thanks, time Margie. this morning. We appreciate it. Uh -huh. For more information on Four Seasons Financial Education, head to the STL Moms tab. John and Randy, great thank advice. You. Yeah. Thank you.